Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan and MrHardware.com, here to do a little quick dissertation on how to remove rust from metal. We have gates, we have handrails, we have swing sets, all these metal things are in our yard. What's the quickest, best way to protect them? Well, we've been using now for over 15 years two products. These are both phosphoric acid based products. What they are, they're a mild phosphoric acid. They're not very nasty. Um, I'm going to wear some gloves. I've used it plenty of times without gloves, but I've always had water to rinse my hands with. What this does is the phosphoric acid reacts with the oxygen and the rust, pulls the oxygen out of the rusting metal, leaves the metal primed and ready for a coat of oil-based paint as our recommended first coat. I've used this on seawalls, steel garage doors. It's just done a great job for me. So here we have this nasty saw given to me by USA Lock. It is a beauty. The only problem is it's a chocolate mess. So what we did is we pre-coated the backside just so that you can see the finished product. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like afterwards. So what's happened here is before we started, well here I'm going to rub it now, my hand, there's no rust. This metal is beautiful. We did this a while ago. It takes, it's being water-based, it dries anywhere from an hour to overnight. Depends how thick the rust is. This was two coats and now after it's dried, it's waterborne, it's dried. It's the rusty side before we started, See all the rust on my hand? This metal has gone from rusty to ready for a coat of paint. So, I'm going to take my time. This product is like water. Very thin. We apply it where the rust thicker, where the rust is the heavier. What this does is, besides pulling the oxygen out while I'm applying it, it is also loosening all the easy rust. The easy rust is a loose rust in the surface that I could have maybe dealt with beforehand. We put this on. We're going to let it set for a while. We're going to put a, possibly a second coat on. But what we do after it's set for a bit, we're going to take a piece of plastic steel wool. Not very hard because the rust is being loosened up by this phosphoric acid. Both phosphoric acid based rust converters. We would like to thank our friends at USA Safe and Lock in St. Clair Shores, Michigan for providing us with this fine saw for this demonstration. So here I am wiping off the residue. It's been five minutes. We may be able to give this another coat later, but this has just done a great job. We're going to let it dry a little longer before I give it the old bare hand test. But this was the terrible side. This was the good side that we did earlier. And now we're going to show you the fact that you can just paint this with an oil-based paint now. You do not need to use a secondary primer. So this rust remover not only does a great job, stupendous job of getting rid of the rust and the oxygen causing the oxidation to happen, it is also our primer. So here we are, we let our product cure. And now we're gonna take some all-purpose gloss black. We're gonna show you that and this is oil based, that we can take this and just apply this right to this quickly prepared piece of metal. We did not sand it, we did not go out of our way to do a ton of work on it. So it's just a quick fix. Nice old fashioned piece of Americana. This saw blade could have easily been your steel garage door, your storm door, your handrail, your porch light. This rust inhibiting asphalt coat that we put on there is for any piece of rusting metal. So now we have a small tool. My grandpa's old pipe wrench. Same thing, just covered with rust. She's not looking so good. Been laying in the water a little too long. Another phosphoric acid base. This is a this is a crud cutter product and it comes in aerosol, liquids, other other forms. We're going to use the spray because this is handy when we're trying to do something with cracks and crevices and or I want to do a quick job. So you can smell the phosphoric acid. You want to make sure you're using this in a ventilated area. You wouldn't want to be doing this down with your head in the laundry tub. So I'm going to let the rust set. I'm a little bit early yet. But I'm going to let this set and I'm going to let this dissolve. Now the beauty of this product is this acts as an inhibitor for up to a whole year. So I really don't have to paint this pipe wrench. I could just leave this on here and let it go. We may take, after all this is dry, take a little bit of uh, oil and a rag, maybe a little paint thinner in it, and we'll soak this all down with a very light coating of oil. And we're going to go back and show you how that saw came out. We can take a piece of rusty metal that no one would have ever touched and now it looks pretty darn nice. We've given it two quick coats of a gloss oil-based spray paint and we've saved it. So now in five minutes, ten minutes, 
you can see where the excess phosphoric acid is leaving a white residue. You can see most of the rust has been cleaned or eaten off. You can see where the rust is thick. It's still working. The rust was real heavy in these areas. Here's the other side now where the wrench was relatively clean. All the edges where there was rust forming are all gone now. We're going to give it another coat, another little touch up with the uh, plastic steel wall. You've seen the saw. Went from unusable, rusty old thing, and this wrench is kind of nice. Still working, so piece of grandpa lives on. It's kind of cool. Easy, 20 minute job. Wrench is beautiful again. Here's how to save a piece of metal around your house quick and easy, thanks to Mr. Hardware.